Greetings, I'm Neon Slice, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get S Plus on Professional Difficulty in Separate Ways Resident Evil 4 Remakes DLC. The first thing you have to know is that you have to start a brand new run on Professional. You can't do this on New Game Plus. Right off the bat, we're going to grab the green herb, and as soon as the battle starts, wait for him to step to the right or to the left, and then shoot him with your TMP. He's going to charge forward. Either dodge by going back and grabbing the TMP ammo or perfect parry him. Get familiar with your controls. Okay, so the goal here is to shoot him while he is distracted but with an action or when he is further away. As you can see here, I'm using a combination of the TMP and the pistol to shoot him in the head. Pistol is for head only. I'm baiting his attack like that. So as you can see here, that's a demonstration of shooting him when he is you know in mid of after an uh after an action if you shoot him in the head it does matter yes the pistol does matter you're gonna end up with no ammo by the way so get really good at this boss fight right after this this fire and and fog start spawning run around run around until everyone's in range of your flash grenade and then throw it in the middle after you reveal the real pesanta shoot him all, shoot all of the tmp ammo at him all of it Okay, and then rinse and repeat, but this time use a hand grenade. Don't lose sight of the vertigo here, the pesanta. And also, it doesn't despawn the other illusions. They can still hit you, So, but you can still dodge them and all that stuff. So be mindful. It's okay if you mess up, though. Don't, don't get frustrated. It's okay if you take damage. I literally take so much damage in this playthrough. But yeah, headshots matter with the pistol. Only land headshots if you can. After that, immediately we're going to turn back around and we are going to go into this little hallway here. And we're going to break these two objects and we're going to grab the items inside. But uh, yeah, so as we get along here, please don't forget to subscribe with notifications on and leave a like if you find this video entertaining or helpful. And let's get right to it. So... This was my second run ever. I'm doing this without bonus weapons, without any extras, without any bonus weapons or Chicago Sweeper or anything like that. In fact, I will unlock everything during this playthrough. We're going to get the two items and immediately skip cutscenes. And then we're going to press the button here for the grappling hook and immediately go up to it, up to this ledge and interact with this object here. You cannot skip these parts. Uh, it's, unfortunately, it's, it's a bit a, a, a bit annoying. So you can skip this whole area by just shooting the one catapult guy in the background. You don't have to do all three catapults, but I'm going to be showing you how to get all three catapults, okay? Just so you know, I know that you can skip this part, okay? But trust me, I finished this with 20 minutes to spare, to spare and you're going to be fine, okay? If you want to skip some stuff, that's okay. We're going to kill the two enemies here. First one by the stairs and then go back up and kill the one that's by the window. We're going to grab everything here. Then hide behind this wall. I'm crouching, okay? Wait for the guy with the torch to be in the middle of this room and then go behind him. Don't get up because he will get alerted and then we're going to stab him in the back, okay? And then we're going to aim and then use our knife. Before we go to the objective, we're going to walk past this bridge and then we're going to crouch at the stairs, okay? Walk across the bridge and then we're going to kill this guy right here. So this is the time where you would snipe the catapult if you want to do the skip, but you're skipping a treasure and I don't want to skip a treasure, okay? So I'm going to give you enough tools and healing items to do this easily with no sweat, okay? And I'm going to be taking my long ass time grabbing treasures just so I make sure that you have enough to do any any upgrades that you want. Anyway, we grab the treasure there. It's important that you grab this treasure, okay? Grab everything before we go down. This is about the time where they spot you if you're doing this without the skip, okay? So don't worry, it's okay. Don't you worry. Grab the sniper rifle and equip it on a shortcut, okay? That you will remember. Remember the shortcut. After that, we're going to equip the scope. We're equipping the scope. That way we can snipe. Otherwise, you can't snipe without it. Well, you can, but it's annoying. We're going to walk across the bridge once again. Interact with this cannon. And you can shoot the one catapult that's blocking your way. That's, that's the only catapult that you need, okay? So you can come up with your own strategies if you want. But I'm showing you an easy 
all players can do this, okay? Anyone can do this. You don't have to be a pro at this, but there are some difficult things, okay? So don't get discouraged. I will also be showing you where to save in this video. You can only save 10 times, okay? And it's crucial that you know where to save, and I'm gonna be showing you that. After that, I'm going back up with the grappling hook, and I'm just getting rid of the rest of the enemies. After that, I'm going to jump back down. I know it seems like a waste of time, but this gives you enough time to get rid of the enemies, okay? So I'm doing this in this order. If you wanna play it super safe, do this in this order so the enemies are not all bunched up together because they catch up to you, okay? So if you do this in this order, uh, we can we can just be easy peasy. We're gonna grab this flash grenade. Grab the flash grenade, it's incredibly important. You cannot do this without this flash grenade. We're using the TMP to stun some enemies, okay? The TMP has increased stun. Okay, before we go up, grab the ruby from the chest. Now this is a this is the best this is the, the first big gamer moment here, okay? Big gamer time. You might get hit here, don't get discouraged, don't restart either, okay? So just heal. Trust me, you will have enough healing. Shoot the barrels from right to left. I miss I I messed up here because it was my first time or second time playing. But don't make miss, miss, the same mistake. Right, middle, there's two in the middle and one on the left. So one on the right, one in the two in the middle, one on the left. So right, middle, middle, left. They 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 get really annoying if you don't kill them properly. There's the, the second barrel. That's the barrel that you need, okay? It's okay if you take damage. Don't worry, keep trying. In worst case scenario, you're learning something new, okay? We're gonna take control of the cannon and we're going to aim left first and then right. And then we're going to shoot both of those. And then immediately use your grappling hook. Do not waste any time looking around, being confused, being in your inventory, okay? You have to have a very good knowledge of your, your shortcuts and everything, all of the controls. You can't do this if it's your first time playing this game grab everything here everything everything and i mean it you need all of this stuff okay and then immediately interact with this wall and that's it so we're going to skip cutscenes but cutscenes don't count towards time just don't risk it just don't watch the cutscenes you know i expect you to have already watched these cutscenes don't save here don't save here no saves that was only seven minutes, six or seven minutes. Don't save, no need to save here. We're gonna save later, okay? So get really good at this part because you might have to do it again if you do die. So watch it a couple times and then do it, okay? Anyway, I'm crouching and I'm equipping the kitchen knife and then I'm stabbing the guy. It's important that you do it with the kitchen knife, okay? Do it with the kitchen knife, crouch after you grapple and then we are going to stab the lady here and then we're gonna turn around and break this barrel and we're gonna grab whatever it is but by, by the way that's random stuff that you can find in there we're gonna kick this guy by grappling don't kick don't do anything else other than grapple and then stab him make sure you align correctly okay and then after that we're going to equip the um the other kitchen knife if you do have another one and we're gonna snipe this guy okay and that's it that's the last enemy for now don't go downstairs, do it in this order, okay? Grab the treasure and watch out. Don't run into the dynamite, you might actually trigger it. Just stop at the right time. Grab the herb. We're gonna disable it, by the way, the C4 there by interacting with F or X or A, whatever it is. Then we're gonna grab the handgun ammo and that's it, okay? Equip your pistol. There are many ways of doing this part, but we're doing it the safe way, okay? Wait for all three enemies to be in range of the barrel. Wait, back up, back up, back up a little bit, and then when they start charging in, boom. Okay, don't grab their items. Wait for the brute to start being on fire, or after he gets very close to you, go up to this little bridge, equip your sniper rifle, and shoot this man in the head. After that, we are going to be able to grab all of these items, okay? Now, this is the big gamer moment right here, okay? Big gamer time. You can use a flash grenade, right here flash grenade grab the yellow herb don't bother ki kicking anybody don't bother killing anyone unless you're like you know in a situation where you can't get hit run basically run and look up run look up use the grappler you don't need anything else from there other than the yellow herb if you want to get the barrel make sure that no one's attacking you and use your knife Okay, don't ever break stuff with your foot unless 
you want to get, you know, I don't know, break the animation of reloading. Uh, if you're near a barrel, by the way, if you use the uh, the kick move to break the barrels while reloading, it will stop the reload animation, but it will still reload. Okay, we're gonna grab everything, grab the knife, grab the thing from the little dresser, and then we're gonna crouch. As soon as we make it downstairs to this part of the staircase, we're gonna crouch. Make sure you have a kitchen knife equipped. If you don't have any other knife, you missed it upstairs, there was a knife. All right, we're gonna get this man. Still, still crouched, okay? And then kill him, all right? Then we're gonna stand up, grab everything from here. With your knife, break these barrels. Before we go out, we're gonna crouch, okay? Don't kick this bucket, because they might hurt you. And then we're gonna still be crouched, okay? This is the last enemy we kill with the knife. Make sure it's the kitchen knife, okay? Not your main knife. That way we have good inventory management when it breaks. After that, we're gonna wait for these two people to be next to this barrel, and then we're gonna run. Shoot the barrel, and then we're gonna run. Run towards this little part here with the two boxes. We're going to grab everything and then wait for the dudes to start coming in and shoot them. This is a part where you might get hit if you're not careful enough, okay? Land those headshots. If you get the chance of stunning one, just kick him and you will hit the guy on the way there. Like like on your way on your way to the grappler, you hit everyone on like while you're in air. There are three enemies that you have to kill here. This dude is a dickhead. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take some damage. It's okay, don't worry. We're gonna use our red and green and yellow. The red and green and yellow herb act, uh, increases your health, by the way. All right. So the brute will come in. The brute will come in, and basically we want the brute to be in this in this area. Okay. Watch how he can one shot you. So get very familiar with dodging the one shot. Okay. There is a difference between parrying and dodging okay we're gonna use our knife to break these things more often than not the pig will st actually stun the the brute but if he doesn't just just be sure to grab the flagon here and then just run 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 as fast as you can be confident don't doubt yourself if you doubt yourself if you late if you wait one second too late you will die okay so just please keep running keep going forward now here you don't have to stop you don't have to stop. If you stop, you take damage. I stopped and I took damage. Whatever. You just have to run towards the blue thing. And perfect parry the arrow, okay? You have to parry the arrow. Get familiar with everything. With parrying. If you if you take damage, it's whatever. We, we will heal later with an egg. Then we're gonna kick this dude by grappling. And then he will be able to survive. So we're going to use our kitchen knife. And that's, you know, one inventory slot less. Because the knife should break for you too at this point. All right, so we're going up the ladder here. Uh, we're gonna use our grappler here. Just keep running, do not stop, because this breaks if you stop, okay? It's the opposite of the, the, the one that Leon does, where, where his breaks if he runs, okay? Use your grappler, don't stop to kill the lady, because she will hit you, and boom. And then we're gonna use our second kitchen knife, or whatever knife we have, and then we're gonna turn around, kill her, and turn around, use your sniper, and very slowly line it up with his head. Then immediately equip your black tail and shoot the medallion. And then we're gonna grapple towards this area because we needed the medallions, okay? My strategy revolves around using the exclusive upgrade ticket, but of course you can do whatever you want, okay? I'm just showing you how to do it. I'm telling you, the TMP is amazing, okay? We're breaking all these, all these medallions. All these medallions. Also, I'll show you how to get all of the requests in this in this video, uh, but I do have a dedicated video for that. Um, I, I'm pretty sure at the end I do skip two, so yeah, stay tuned. Okay. Anyway, so this is how you solve this puzzle right here. You might have to look at that again. You, it's okay. You can go back. All right. And then we're gonna use the grappler here. Do not waste any more time. Don't read any files. If you want to know the story, play it. Not in professional. All right, okay, so we're gonna run, take the same path that I'm taking here. You have to follow everything that I do to a T, okay? You can have your own play style, but you know, I, the paths that I take are for the most part, the most optimal. Of course, speedrunners can do better, but I'm not a speedrunner, you know? And yeah, anyway, we're gonna go in here and we are going to grab this stuff. There's only two chests here, don't waste any more time. I was I was kind of again confused because there's something shiny there, but yeah. After that, we're gonna go back out and use our grappler and get the nest. Okay, you don't have to use a bullet here, you can just knife it and get the ruby. Also, you can only jump from the left side. Don't go up to the front side, because yeah, it makes no sense. 
And before we go back out, we're gonna grab the yellow herb and the barrel right here. Grab the barrel right there, combine any yellow and green and red, and then we're gonna go back out. You have nothing else to do on the right, on the on the left side, so we're gonna take this path just to make sure the villagers don't get triggered. They don't, but just to make sure they don't touch you. Don't shoot them at all. Run past them, because they just heard the bell. Okay, la campana. Don't touch them. I know it's tempting to see the, the R2 or the, the knife prompt, but don't do it, okay? All right. <laughs> this will be your first save. Congratulations, you made it to 15 minutes. This is why I need you to learn this part to a T because you, you're you probably gonna die on your way here. This is your first save. These are suggestions. Of course, if you're, if you're not familiar with the whole cliffside part, you can, you know, save before it. I don't know. If the brute's giving you trouble, you can save after Pasanta if you want, but I think it's not worth it. Anyway, we're gonna get the treasures before we talk to the merchant. Get the treasures. Okay, there's a velvet blue right there. In this playthrough, I will not be getting any... I, I will not be getting every treasure because you don't need it. And also, if I don't get it, it's because I missed it or, you know, I'm just trying to be quick. Anyway, we're going to put the two rubies on the flagon and we are going to sell the flagon and any other possible treasures that we have combined. And with this money, we are going to purchase the case upgrade, the 7x12 and the sawed off W870 shotgun. Okay. After that, we are going to use the rest of the money to upgrade the TMP. Okay. Upgrade the TMP firepower. And trust me, trust me, trust me. This is the weapon that you will be using the most during this run. And trust me, yes, it shreds. Okay. All right. Don't spend your money. Don't spend your spinels, by the way. Don't spend spinels. Uh, this is save number one. Number one, save here. This is your first save. Alrighty, so this is your chance to take a break, drink some water, stay hydrated. Remember, you have pets. If you do have any pets, take care of them because we're about to go into something very stressful. So I need all of your attention, okay? We're gonna grab everything in this room. Don't forget anything. There's two barrels, one box, and other stuff, okay? We're gonna start by equipping our shotgun to a shortcut, okay? Remember these shortcuts, okay? As soon as the game begins, we are going to aim in with the sniper rifle. Wait for Pesanta to move to the right or to the left, okay? This monster's called Pesanta, okay? Or U3, I guess, later, okay? We're gonna open up with two sniper bullets and then we're gonna use the TMP when he is not moving, okay? When he doesn't attack like that, oh, when he does that, he reaches to grab you. So don't let him grab you, step away, and kind of get out of the way, okay? Don't ever let him get too close to him, to you, okay? Don't ever. Get the distance. He will do a uh, thrusting attack with his lance. Uh, he has two different attacks. When he pulls his staff under his arm, get ready to dodge. Press the dodge button, not parry, okay? When he does his lance, like, he pulls it all the way to the back with his one hand, like that, that means you have to parry or walk away, okay? That's your chance to strike. Dodging that attack, the thrusting attack, is when you need to attack him. Or when he does the that grab and you dodge like that, you get out of the way, shoot him with the TMP or the shotgun. I prefer TMP because the TMP is upgraded right now. If you're following my upgrades, the TMP is the best weapon that you can use in this DLC. That isn't a Chicago Sweeper or anything like that. Of course, you can do the Chicago Sweeper if you want, but I'm not going to do that in this video. I'm using the grenade. When there are two vertigos or Pesanta, whatever you want to call them, you can tell the real one is the one that um, has the staff, the one that does all of his attacks. The fake one does not have a staff okay he does he does the jump you cannot dodge this attack all you have to do is get out of the way okay he will do another phase here he will do another phase he, he's going to literally teleport so look out for him see he see him in the back don't lose sight don't lose sight of him okay all right we're basically just running around don't ever stand still if you can shoot him in the head with the sniper rifle that deals a ton of damage okay like that that moment right there as long as you land a shot in the... Oh, yeah, see? 
get away from that and then use your TMP and then kick him. You want to kick him and then pull out your shotgun and hit him at least once or twice. That deals damage, okay? It's important that you do that. That's why we're hitting him in the face right sometimes, okay? When the fog gets thicker, uh, use a flash grenade. Same thing that we learned at the beginning, remember? When all the Pasantas are together, use the flash grenade. If you have a flash grenade, use a, use a regular grenade. This should stun him and then you'll be able to use your grappler to stab him in the face. This means he is almost dead. Don't get nervous and over, over, you know, confident like I did here. I took damage because I got too confident. If you have any more grenades, throw them at the real Pasanta, the one with the stuff, okay? The fake ones don't have stuff, okay? All right, we're gonna get some distance here because he does teleport and grab you, okay? Don't let him do that. Use your pistol to shoot him in the face. That is the quickest way to do it other than the TMP, okay? Uh, okay, so bullets don't go through the fake ones, just so you know, they kind of absorb them most of the time, so he should be dead very soon here. Go for headshots if you can, if you don't, then that's okay. Don't forget, the, the other fake ones will not disappear, so there we go. Finishing him off with a, a shotgun. There is no real strategy, the gist of it is pretty much using the TMP and a mix between, you know, run around, use the TMP, Pretty much hit him in the head whenever you can. Anyway, we're gonna go into this house. Do this in this order, okay? As soon as we regain control, we go back to the normal game. Do this in this order. First, do this house. Grab the treasure and then go back outside the window. Then go back in and then go outside. After that, we're gonna go to the bell tower and we're gonna grab the herb, okay? Just immediately grab it and get out. After that, we're going to go into this little shack, grab the treasure, or not treasure, the, the box, sorry. And then after that, we're gonna do this all in this order, okay? Go to the downstairs of the shotgun house. And sometimes you find spinels, that's really good. If you get two extra spinels, one or two extra spinels, you can buy the treasure maps if you want. I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't have any, anything about any feelings about that but just know we're saving spinels to get the exclusive upgrade ticket at the castle okay after that we're gonna go back down and we're gonna grab everything in this house um don't waste your don't waste your spinels on the drawers don't waste your spinels on small keys don't 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 worry about it okay i said we're gonna go to the barn here and grab the treasure okay do this all all of this in this order. This is the man, this is how it's meant to be done. This is similar to the Birkin boss fight in RE2 remake where you have to go around in a specific order to do it most effectively. It's exactly like that, except it's longer. I'm gonna grab these barrels, and that's the last thing we grab in this area. There might be something that we forgot. It's not a big deal. Just try to be efficient with where you go and how to uh, and how to do this stuff and grabbing all this stuff. Grab all of that, and then after that, we're gonna go through the door. And that's it. We're about 20 or 22 minutes in. That's a long time, isn't it? But it's okay. There's only seven chapters, so it's all good. Before we continue going, we're gonna go in there and grab those two things. Don't forget. Do them now, because later there's gonna be plagas. And it's gonna be difficult. Okay? Alright. So, that's the end of chapter 2. These chapters are very short at the beginning, uh, but don't get too confident, okay? Don't save. We're not saving. I'm not saving yet. I did not save. I'm not gonna save yet. As soon as we regain control of Ada, we're gonna go through the window here. And there's gonna be a, a thing there. Don't interact with it. All we have to do is grab this item, gunpowder, right there. But go down the stairs. There is an item there. We're grabbing this in this order, by the way. Do this all in this order right now. There's a red herb in the bathroom. Combine it with a green or red, green, yellow. Get the egg. There's an egg in the in the oven. I forgot about it, but there's an egg in the oven, okay? If you forget about it, like me, you can grab it while Mendez chases you, but no, don't, don't forget. Grab the egg in the oven. And then after that, we're gonna grab the thing in the drawer or whatever, and then get the key. We're gonna grab everything from this area, okay? Make sure you have everything. After we get the key from behind the painting, we're gonna go up the stairs. Go up the stairs and we're gonna open the drawer here with this key. There is a file in there, so we're gonna get our new orders. 
And as soon as Mendes spawns in, we're gonna do a 180 degree turn. Okay, a quick turn. We're gonna go turn around, turn, go past the stairs, go outside, equip your shotgun, okay? Have your shotgun in your hand. As soon as possible, get this item in the chest and then go back in, retrace your steps. Literally, just go back in and retrace your steps. There's gonna be a dude here, so shoot him with a shotgun. Doesn't matter if he dies or not, don't waste any time, okay? If you forgot the egg, you're grabbing it here, but I, I suggest you get the egg before this happens, okay? All right, but it's okay if you forget about it. Just don't stop, keep going. If he grabs you, he kills you, okay? Don't let him get to you. We're gonna use the grappler. Look up, okay? You have to look up. Make sure you look up. Before we use the next grappler, we're gonna stun this lady by shooting her in the face or with a shotgun. Then we're gonna use the grappler right there. And again, you have to line it up correctly. Otherwise, it's not gonna show up the prompt. Keep running with your shotgun in your hand. We're using the shotgun here. Sometimes this dude rushes you, so get ready, get ready, boom, okay? Doesn't matter if he dies or not, but spam the pickup button as you're running, don't stop. All right, and that's it. We're gonna use a grappler here. And you made it past a big stopping Looks point like there, all right? So we're reaching save number two. Now you might be wondering, well, that's a bit too early. Well, yeah. But the next thing is going to be difficult, okay? We're going to save. This is save number two. Got some it's perfect for a professional we are at the merchant, okay? So, we well, can only sell some things. It's going to look a bit all over the place in this playthrough, guys. Uh, I haven't quite perfected everything. But, uh, yeah, so you can sell the elegant clock or wait i'm gonna save well, the red barrel okay but trust me it it works we're gonna sell the perfume and the hidden key and then we are we can purchase one of the charms here if you want um i don't i don't use them but if you're gonna purchase one purchase the one for the tmp or shotgun uh, anyway upgrade the tmp that's it get the power up to tier three and then the rest you can just either spend it on something else or save it you need a knife okay you need to make sure you need a you have a knife we're gonna send our sniper rifle to the storage okay click the sniper rifle and then send it to storage we're saving the sniper rifle because we're gonna get the explosive crossbow so we're gonna examine the footprints and then we're going to we're going to equip the kitchen knife and crouch, get this guy, and then still crouch. We're gonna jump over this wall. Make sure you look up. I know it's a bit problem. And then we're gonna still be crouched, and then we're gonna knife this guy with the, with the kitchen knife. And then we're gonna grab his item. Don't kill the rats, it doesn't matter. Crouch here, crouch, because there's a dynamite. Don't break it. And then we're gonna kill this one. Still crouched. Okay, we're gonna grab the item here. The handgun ammo and her item. And then we're gonna go behind this dude. And then we're gonna knife him. And then after that, there's gonna be a scripted event where the guy walks through the door and he's already aggro. He's gonna start shooting you. Or he's gonna start attacking you. Watch out. So immediately turn around and shoot him in the face. He might be a plaga. A lot of the time he's a plaga. So just get ready to go up to him and stab him with your knife. And that's it. You had, you had enough knives for this for this area. I'm gonna grab the submachine gun ammo and the blast crossbow and the crossbow bolts, the blast arrows. We're gonna open this door, but don't go through it, okay? If you have a small key, you can use it there if you want. I don't care, okay? We're gonna put the red barrel and the red ruby in the extravagant clock to make it very expensive. Alrighty, before we go further into the factory here, we're gonna grab everything from the furnaces, okay? Both furnaces. Don't forget, there are two furnaces after that we're gonna go into this area we're gonna continue following the footprints okay follow the footprints and yeah there's gonna be a scripted event here and then we're gonna continue running here grab the ammo don't forget to grab all this stuff please it's really important that you get all this because it's really important right now early on that you have enough ammo we're gonna grab the yellow herb okay yellow herb combine it with the red and green that's the best thing you can do because it's a full heal and also uh, increases your health. After that, we're going to look at the footprint in the middle of the room. You have to do this, otherwise you can't progress through the game, okay? You have to interact with that. 
and then go up to this place and get the cigarettes and turn around and press the action button Is this his frequency? on it and we are going to continue over here so this is why we saved here because there are two chainsaw people now there is a way to avoid them you can skip them but i'm actually choosing to not avoid them before we go upstairs we're gonna shoot this guy you can shoot him in the in the arm so he drops the axe or you can perfect parry his axe it's okay i took damage it's whatever use your pistol only pistol only headshots it's difficult on a controller i know it's incredibly difficult grab his items sometimes they're plagas unfortunately that you can't do anything about it other than just knife them all right wait here wait here in in this room because there's gonna be a, a lady shoot her in the face make her regret her life and then we're gonna kick this door open for cool styles <laughs> um but uh no just uh let's just let's just kill her because she's she's kind of she's kind of annoying she's a plaga for me Maybe she'll be a plaga for you too. Hopefully not. Equip the kitchen knife if you have one. Or, you know, whatever. Uh, just make sure she doesn't become a plaga, please. Because that this next segment is probably going to take you a couple tries. Uh, Alright, we're going to go through the door. Equip a, a grenade or the crossbow here. And throw it as she opens the door. After that, we're going to equip our shotgun or TMP. And then run, run, run into this room. Run into this room, run into this room. And we're gonna kill all of the guys. Kill all the regular enemies here with this grenade. You need to kill all the regular enemies. Uh, get get some distance with her. Don't let her kill you. She will rush you. I like using the TMP and shotgun against them. So because they get damaged. They get staggered. Okay. We're gonna use the TMP on her face. Uh, you can make quick work of her if you kick her up against a wall. If you see the, the knife prompt, go for it, because that's what deals the most damage. Eventually, you will see them together if you did the right thing. And uh, we're going to equip the crossbow here, and we're going to get both of them, okay? We're going to get continuously get both of them until we're out of crossbow arrows. And then we're going to use the hand grenade, and we're going to shoot them. Shoot them with the, sh with the shotgun or TMP. It's whatever. Uh, don't parry. Just... Keep going, dodge them. It's gonna take a few tries if you fail, but uh, yeah. Also, the stock for the TMP helps if you wanna waste time, if you wanna waste money. But I personally don't like wasting money. Anyway, we're gonna continue backing up. So this is my strategy. I'm continuously hitting them, hitting them, hitting them, and then if they get too close, I just back up, back towards where I found the boot, the footprint. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna use the TMP here, and then we're gonna kill the lady. Go for headshots if you can. Try to control your bursts if you're using the TMP. There we go. Uh, knife him. Don't kick him. Knife him. And then shotgun him. Shotgun is really effective, but make sure it's reloaded. Everything always needs to be reloaded, okay? This is your last line of defense. If you made it here, they shoot about, about right here. This is where they die. If you made it here and they're still alive, you're in trouble. Get the emerald. This is why we grab this, okay? We're gonna get the emerald and the alexandrite. These are incredibly important because we will be using them for the elegant crown for 100,000 pesetas that you can use however you want. But if you're doing this, you might want the striker thing, charm if you want, but I'm using it for weapons. I'm telling you, you don't need the striker charm, but it's gonna be interesting doing runs with that. Anyway. We are going to disable this and um, make sure you've grabbed everything and we're going to run. We're going to run, run, run. Don't forget that we still haven't saved because we saved before this segment. So don't get too confident because we might die here. All right. This is another big gamer moment. Yes, that right after the factory. Right after the factory, we're gonna get another big gamer moment. All right, we're gonna move on. This is your last chance to get the egg. All right, so before we keep going, we're gonna leave a like on this video if you haven't already, and subscribe for more, comment and all that stuff. I read all my comments. And now this is where it gets tricky, okay? We get the Plaga reveal. We can stand here and waste time and bullets, or we can run past them. I decided to do the stupid thing of killing them 
Uh, ideally, you just want to, you know, stun one of them and run past. You don't want to waste your money or you, you don't want to waste your ammo on him. He doesn't drop anything special, just 400 percent does most of the time. But if you want to waste some handgun ammo, that's perfectly okay. Money never hurts, okay? But just so you know, you just wasted like a minute there. 30 to 60 seconds. Make sure everything's reloaded, okay? Make sure everything's reloaded. Ideally, you want to have a flash grenade here, okay? And just to get yourself out of sticky situations, if you're not familiar with this game mode just yet. We're at, at 33 minutes, I believe. Uh, and then we're going to go out here and we are going to talk to the merchant. So, we can sell some stuff. We're going to sell the extravagant clock and the jacket. That completes a request for the merchant. And that will give us more spin -offs. Okay? Alright. This is where you can purchase the map. I don't don't waste your spinels. If you want the exclusive upgrade ticket, don't waste your spinels. Don't waste the Alexandrite and the Emerald. Don't waste your square gems. Okay? If you want, you can just sell the bangle. It's okay, whatever. We're gonna purchase the upgrade for the case, and then we're gonna purchase the blast arrow recipe, which is on sale currently if you buy it right now. After that, uh, we can upgrade our TMP even more on the capacity side of things. So if you do decide to upgrade your TMP, upgrade the capacity. And I recommend it because having 40 is a lot. So the reason why the TMP is so good is because it every bullet deals 95.95 damage, but it's incredibly fast. So you're shooting like 40 bullets in like two seconds. And that's a lot of damage. That's why we want the TMP, okay? All right, the stock might help with that too. Grab the pesetas and the velvet blue. Don't bother knifing this dude, he's a scripted plaga. Just run past him. Watch how there's a trap in the middle of the, the, the village. Uh, don't step in it. We're gonna use our shotgun here to get rid of any enemies or just immediately run to this window and use your grappler, okay? I suggest you do this fast enough so you don't get hit by the plaga. But, uh, it, you know, mistakes can happen. It's okay. You just saw me commit mistakes there. It's it's whatever. With my shotgun, I'm going to make sure I have at least two shotgun shells. And I'm going to shoot her. And then the last time is going to be a TMP barrage. Basically, make sure you're ready to take out a Plaga. Because this Plaga is most of the time scripted. There isn't anything on the other in the other house. For me, there wasn't, at least. Make your way back outside. Dodge at this guy. Don't bother shooting him unless he's, like, about to kill you. Uh, but you can dodge him. And that's it. We're about to get to another major boss fight. So get ready. Alright. <clears throat> so. Before we do that, we're gonna use our pistol to take out the guy on the roof. Take him out with your pistol. You can shoot his dynamite if you want, but usually these guys don't have that much health, so you don't have to snipe them. You can just use your pistol. All right. Watch out for the trident person. It's not a trident, but it's fork, fork, forker, pitchfork. <laughs> uh, take them out. Otherwise, they're gonna be annoying. But of course, if you really are going for a speed run, you can just avoid all these enemies. Just make sure you get the treasure if you are looking for upgrades okay make sure you kill this one sometimes she's a plaga um i didn't get to kill her fast enough but yeah don't forget anyway grab the green herb here and there's gonna be some barrels we're gonna grab these barrels because we're gonna we're about to fight the giant the el gigante yeah el gigante and we're gonna fight him so we need some ammo we need some ammo so, and we need some ammo, and we need some, some points, some, some gold, some pesetas, sorry. So we're going to shoot this thing when it's on the right side, okay? There's, there's a pendant. There's a thing that's dangling off that windmill. Make sure it's on the right side. It doesn't fall into the water because otherwise it would lose value, okay? It would be worth less if it, if it's dirty. Okay. So there's an enemy here. We can use a shotgun or we can risk it and use our pistol. I recommend just using the shotgun because he's an annoying guy. But either way, take him out. Wait for him to make sure that he's dead. And then we're gonna go to the right. Shoot this, shoot this guy in the dynamite, or you can just shoot him once with your pistol. He often dies with one hit. If he doesn't, well, 
we had a bad luck. Anyway, we're gonna grab the red herb and all that stuff that's on the corner. Before we go in, we are going to grab the treasure. Here, there's a treasure right there. If you can't see it, there we go. There it is, yellow diamond. There's gonna be treasures that, I'm, that I miss, but it's okay. It doesn't really matter too much, but you're definitely at an advantage if you know where all the treasures are. This is actually my second playthrough ever, but this is just to show you that you don't have to be perfect. I made a million mistakes and I still did it. Anyway, we're gonna go into this area. We're gonna grab the blast arrows, the shotgun shells, the red herb, and we are going to grab the treasure in the little briefcase and we are going to save here. Save here. This is save number three, right before El Gigante fight. All right, so here we are. We're gonna make sure that we have our sniper rifle and crossbow with us. Combine any herbs, make sure you have enough room, make sure you have everything reloaded, make sure everything's reloaded, okay? Especially your TMP. If you don't have any TMP ammo, make sure you have at least 40 by crafting some. Make sure you have at least two to five arrows. Uh, arrows do matter. They deal 15 damage per arrow. So think of it like as a, a magnum, okay? All right, here we go. This boss fight is incredibly long. All you have to do is get his parasite out and you have to knife him, I think two or three times. Uh, basically, you just have to deal enough damage where you, so much da enough damage until he exposes himself to the prompt of knifing him. So be on the lookout for, <laughs> Be on the lookout for um, the R2 button or whatever it is on your console or PC. I'm using the rooftops here. To just jump and get a high ground. Basically, you're supposed to use these rooftops uh, to shoot, to have a better line of sight with the parasite. Basically, if you want to do this effectively, don't come up here until the parasite's exposed. And when the parasite is exposed, you can just throw a flash grenade and then use your TMP on it. Or, you know, shotgun. If he's close enough, you can use the shotgun or the sniper rifle. Whatever it is that you like. Something that deals a ton of damage in consecutive order. Just keep going like this. Rinse and repeat in this order. Keep going. Expose his parasite. If he has his parasite out, try to hit it from while going from roof to roof. Also, if you manage to make him break these little houses and cabins and shacks or whatever they are, uh, you get some drops of ammo and stuff like that. You get some items. Also, watch out because there are some enemies down there. There are enemies. So there's going to be a lot of enemies down there. So be careful if you do play this for the first time. Um, professional does spawn different things. Uh, not different things, but it, it sometimes it adds enemies. You'll see what I mean later. Okay, we had we knifed him once. Did you see that knife animation? Yeah, that was him. Uh, getting getting quick time event. Um, he can grab you like this if you do it too closely. Don't do it too closely. He's a smart one. Eventually, just keep going and hit the plaga. So hitting the plaga with the sniper rifle actually deals a lot of damage, but. If you manage to land all of your TMP shots, that's like five times more damage because the TMP is amazing. So, anyway, eventually he will break all of the, the the houses and you'll be able to grab some stuff. Take out all the little guys, by the way. The little guys at the bottom, the ganados at the bottom. Um, you should be killing them with your shotgun. Don't use your pistol, it's too slow unless you think you can. Like I said, this boss fight is incredibly long, so I'm cutting it a little bit here, so hopefully you don't mind, but yeah, the crossbow deals a lot of damage, so using the crossbow, even if you use the crossbow on his face, this should bring him down to your knees, so use all of your crossbow, don't worry, you can craft some later, use your crossbows against him, because otherwise he will literally destroy your run, okay? When he goes down like that, make sure you press the knife button, or whatever it is on your console or PC, and do this a couple of times and he will go down eventually. How many more can you take? So after you take him out, we won't be saving, but this was pretty much the last boss of the village. So you have to complete the village in under 
one hour. Ideally, under 40 minutes, okay? Yes, and I truly mean that. Under 45 minutes. 45 minutes for the village, okay? So we are currently with Louise here. So make sure you like and subscribe because this is going to be a very long <laughs> upload for me. So hopefully you, uh, hopefully you appreciate it. Anyway, we grab everything in this room and then we skip cutscene and then we jump into the hole with Louise. Make sure you're not forgetting anything. So we have enough stuff to go downstairs. It won't open. Because there's going to be something very hectic. We might lose here and go back to before the giant. So don't screw this up, okay? There's only one thing that you can screw up, and that's the Luis segment. So don't screw it up. So make sure you do everything correctly. We're going to open the door here and jump down. We're going to grab the case. Okay, gra grab, <laughs> grab the stuff. Grab the boxes. And then we're going to use our grappler up there. Use the grappler. And then we're going to use the lever. And then we're going to go back down and join Luis. We're going to continue here. Go down the ladder. Knife these barrels. Guess we'll find out. And we're going to make sure we grab everything before the fire segment. Now, this fire segment is important that you do not waste a single second because he will literally die very easily, okay? Before the fire segment, we're going to take out some of these people. So, if you can knife one, knife him. Don't worry, it's okay. It's it's good. Use your shotgun. Watch out. This is where they introduce you to the snail plaga. The snail plaga will eat your head and send you back to before the giant. So, be careful. Only attack it when it has the red, his mouth open, the red the red thing so use your tmp against it when he has his mouth open and take him out so i like using the staircase to my advantage if there are two plagas we can go ahead and uh use a flash grenade if you have it if you don't have a flash grenade that's okay just use your use your tmp or the melee attack this is incredibly risky uh you don't have to do it but yeah if you're close enough you can use your shotgun shells but that is again once again very risky you don't want to get close to this thing because it will one shot you like it doesn't care if, it, if you have a knife or not it literally will one shot you anyway make sure you take them out it will make a very distinctive sound and that's it we're gonna grab everything alternatively i guess you can run past them but listen up we're trying to get money and stuff like that but yeah i actually don't know if you can run past so i think you can but i think luis does get stuck if you run past maybe i don't know well we'll see we'll see stay tuned for the live streams where, where i test new things <laughs> i guess but play it safe anyway don't go don't turn around and get the box just go straight after luis this is a big reset point, so just make sure you're quick enough because he is literally about to die. So if you reach this area before he turns red, like this part right here where you're holding the button, you're you're fine. You have to finish this by the skin of your teeth. You have to still have yellow bar, and yeah, if you reach red here, you're you're good. Just follow this, just follow this path, and you'll be able to do it. It's easy to fail there if you get lost. Don't get, don't panic. Just rewatch that if you need to, and then get the box here. Uh, by the way, anyway, there's another box. And uh, and yeah. So we're gonna go upstairs. This is where it can get a little bit confusing. It's confusing if you only played once, uh, which is what happened to me. But it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to you know make. You know, take take a little longer here. If you really are worried about time, uh, you can just skip all this stuff. Like you can skip the treasures and all that. But remember, you're gonna be struggling with upgrades later. Uh, but uh, if you want to play it safe, go ahead and skip skip pick picking up stuff. But I honestly recommend you get. Um, I honestly recommend I recommend you get the, the treasure here, which by the way you can access from upstairs as well. You have to go. You don't have to go through downstairs. If you forget, you can just jump through down the hole. So it's better to just do it from the the staircase. To be honest, the gold bar L. Very good early on. Then we're gonna go out the ladder now this time. Okay, so 
the beginning of the castle can be a little bit annoying. So let's stay focused. Alright. We're gonna knife this lock or just kick it three times. It doesn't matter. You're just wasting, what, three seconds? It's okay. So now we have a quest to get ink and other stuff. So grab any items in here and then keep going. Use your grappler here. And I'm gonna show you a couple of treasures. I will be missing some, don't worry, it's okay. All right, go through the window and we're gonna kill this one. If you have a knife, just go ahead and knife her in the back of the head or just shoot her in the face, it's okay. Make sure these two enemies are dead. I'm using my pistol. The pistol ammo is only primarily for like little enemies like this, so don't be afraid of using it. But uh, also don't waste time. But also don't don't waste time killing unnecessary uh, people. But just so you just so you're aware, killing them does slow you down, but it does give you money and ammo. So use that knowledge to your own advantage. But of course you knew that already. We're gonna get the the submachine gun ammo, and we're gonna get the lithographic plate. Okay, the key item, there's a key item, there's a little square rectangle thingy. We're gonna sell the gold bar, the velvet blue, the any other treasures that are, that don't require gems. And then, uh, if you have enough for the upgrade ticket here, go ahead and get it, but you will only be able to have the upgrade ticket right before a major boss fight later down the, game, later down the line. So, we're gonna purchase the flash grenade recipe. Buy it. Buy the flash grenade recipe buy the flash grenade recipe. And then I'm using my money to upgrade the TMP even more. Trust me, it's important that the TMP is up. You can upgrade your pistol here or your shotgun. Do not upgrade the sniper rifle because we will be replacing it with the Stingray, which is way better, trust me, in this case. All right, now we go back down into the, the lithographic area, and then we're gonna grab the other plate the stone, whatever, and then we're gonna solve this puzzle, okay? We're gonna solve this puzzle. It's not the same as Leon, so pay attention. I mean, it's similar, but yeah, pay attention. And we're gonna use both tablets. I'm gonna use both tablets, and we're gonna do this. First so, in this room. once we enter the armory, we're gonna enable this thing. You don't have to enable it, but this helps you with the puzzle. This will tell you the solution, but you don't need it if I tell you. Anyway, we're gonna shoot the, uh, the treasure there. Get the treasure, okay? Get the velvet blue. And then we're gonna go up to this corner. We're gonna get the chest or whatever that is, the barrel. And then we're gonna interact if you want to know the solution, there it is. You can look at it. You don't need it to solve it. I'm going to look up to the top left of the fireplace, shoot number one, number three, and number whatever that one is. Anyway, it's that solution right there. That must be the Get la tinta roja or red ink. <laughs> and then we're going to keep going here. See don't turn around. There's nothing yeah. here. I was, you know, again, this was my second playthrough, so there's gonna be mistakes, but it's okay. I'm, I'm keeping you, I'm keeping these mistakes to show you that it's okay. You don't have to be perfect to get S+, okay? This one's a bit more difficult, though, than Leon's, so we're gonna have to focus a little bit more and use all the knowledge that we acquired uh, during Leon's campaign and uh, Leon and Ashley's campaign and uh, perform amazing feats here. Now, you can save here if you're scared of the armor, okay? Or if you're scared of the drill, you can save here, okay? But before we do that, we're gonna grab the hand and ammo just to make sure we don't forget it. And uh, yeah, so I'm 50, uh, 50 minutes or so in, so I'm gonna save. This is save number four, all right? All right, so now we can do this puzzle. We can rest easily and we don't have to do the giant anymore. So it's okay. All right, we're gonna do this puzzle. So gong on the left and then the other snake is up there. You're gonna shoot, you're gonna have to shoot some, okay? The next one, next one is triple eagle. So top left, 
right and then behind the gate. We're gonna get this I these items. And we're gonna grab the Crimson Lantern. Be careful, as soon as we grab the Crimson Lantern, there's gonna be a drill. This is from the original game, it's really cool. I loved it. It was so down back in the day. Before we do anything, we're gonna enable that that eagle thing. I interact with that eagle thing. And then turn around, do the top right eagle and then the left most eagle. Then next up we have three fish. Left, left, right. Okay? Next up we have double snake. Shoot snake right, shoot snake on the top left, and that's it. Then look up. You have to look up. And then circle or whatever it is on your console or controller or whatever it is that you're playing with. Just grapple up there. It's easy to get confused there. You might get killed if you don't know what you're doing. So hopefully you saved before that. All right. Now we can rest easy and do the armor stuff. Okay, we're gonna grab all this stuff. We're gonna grab the vintage compass from the treasure chest and then get the wine from the left. So as soon as we get the wine, we are going to trigger the armadura. So let's get ready. So with our TMP, our TMP should be power level four by now. Uh, TMP is crucial for this, okay? You have to have a good TMP. So you have, you have to shoot these guys until you're able to melee them, okay? So you're gonna have to melee them first. Melee them. And then we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna equip a flash grenade and throw it. Throw it in a way where it gets both, and that's it. That's how you do that. Make sure you have the recipe for the flash grenade. This is why we are bringing the flash grenade recipe with us before the segment. Open the door with the wine and then go through the door and then grab the wine again. We're gonna craft some flash grenades. Craft, some, craft at least one flash grenade before you go into this next area. All right, we're gonna place the wine in the middle and then we're gonna go left. So this is the silver wine. Before we do anything here, we're gonna grab the wine again and then we're gonna get the resources L. This is helpful for a flash grenade. Then grab everything before we do anything. Okay, grab everything. And then I'm I'm actually gonna make sure I have enough TMP ammo. Grab the golden wine. And then we're gonna make sure that we kill these armors. Alright. Use the pillars to hide from the crossbow people. Watch how this dude kind of rushes you. Yeah, essentially it's the same thing. Use your um, use your TMP to kick them and then shoot the Plaga. Shoot the Plaga with your TMP. You can melee them if you want also. It's really nice. There we go. Don't get too close. If, there, if there's two Plagas close together, you will probably take damage. But the shotgun works wonders against these guys. You just have to break the helmet. Rinse and repeat, okay? This one is a bit tricky. It might take you a while, okay? This is why we saved here. So, the next one is gonna be a single guy, and then the next one's gonna be the three guys, okay? So we have to break their helmets, all three of them, before we kill them. One, you remember this from my, uh, from my guide, from the original game, okay? This is why I told you, use the pillars. Anyway, kick, two, and then the second one, third one, three. Now get them all in the same room and throw a flash grenade, in a way where it gets all three of them. That's it, that's how you do that. Don't forget to grab their items because they drop spinels. These spinels are insanely good. So make sure you grab them. I think I missed one there, maybe. I'm not too sure. Anyway, we're gonna put in the golden wine and then go right first. Okay, golden wine, then go right, kill this guy. Don't go in and grab that chest. Instead, kill this enemy before you interact with the chest because otherwise the enemy will shoot you. Okay, so make sure you shoot them. Grab the elegant chessboard. And then we go back out. Get the wine. Insert the, pit, the the silver one. Get the wine again. Insert the gold one. And then get the wine again. Insert the silver one. And that's it. All right. One now we have to go up the ladder. Ooh. So, there's medallions here. This is an annoying part, so if you want to save here instead of before the armor sets, 
go ahead and do it here, but don't save again, okay? So if you've already saved this chapter, don't save again. So we're gonna sell any treasures that we can, uh, you know, that we've completed, and then we're gonna use our money to fully upgrade our TMP to the max of damage, if you can, okay? If you can. Otherwise, you can spread out your upgrades if you want. It doesn't really matter, okay? Doesn't really matter. I'm not. Don't don't waste the don't waste the green and purple on the little bangle there. Don't waste it. Don't waste it. Instead, I'm gonna sell one handgun ammo for 128 pesetas, and that gives me enough to get a 27,000 upgrade on the TMP. So TMP is my weapon of choice because it just so good. It melts all the bosses, and you'll see what I talk about, what I mean. And it also staggers, staggers a lot of enemies, so, yeah. So we're gonna go out, get the boxes, and get the boxes, and then we're gonna get the green herb. And there are some, there are some fish here that you can get to sell or to eat. Uh, they are not part of a quest line, so you can go ahead and eat them, or keep them, and sell them if you want. But yeah, there's a couple of fish here, black bass. Uh, before you go, go to the fountain thingy behind it, and there is an item that we can sell later. Also, before we go to the courtyard, or the maze, we're gonna go to the right. Go to the right, as you can see here, go to the right and get the treasure. There is a treasure here, so if you bought the treasure map, don't forget, you can look at it. Alright, so we're gonna grab that before we go in. Get the little chest here, it's a red barrel, so it's a big deal. Red barrel is a really good gem it's like the best square gem so we're, we're collecting all of the infinity stones here to put it on, on the elegant crown so we're at one hour at the maze okay this should be your way of gauging where you know sort of how to you know the timing so you need to be at around an hour maybe an hour and 15 at the latest in the courtyard it's difficult it's difficult. The courtier is difficult, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you, it's difficult. Couldn't so, Gloria Las Plagas here. We're gonna shoot him with your sniper rifle. Shoot all- and you, you need to land every sniper bullet that you have on him. Aim at the head, not the bone thing on his head, okay? Aim, aim at his literal body, not his headdress, okay? After that, he's gonna move to the right. And uh, he's gonna move to here where I'm aiming, but watch how there's gonna be enemies around. So, we're gonna use our shotgun to get rid of these enemies. This is annoying, an annoying part. Also, don't forget, there are medallions here. So, once he reaches this part, you can throw a grenade, a very well-placed grenade, or, you know, all of the grenades you have, make sure you literally kill him, okay? So, he will move again after he takes damage. So, watch out, there's gonna be enemies around. It's a pain, it's a pain. I understand, it's a pain. So, with our sniper rifle, we're going to go up here. And we're gonna try to land some shots again. He should be dead right now if you've hit him enough times. But uh, worst case scenario happens uh, the same thing to you than it happened to me. This is like a major slowdown area. So yeah, just just make sure that you kill him when you can. Don't use your pistol because the pistol is not gonna do much to him. These, it's annoying. It, there's no real strategy here, but I'm showing you where he spawns. So you can just use your your sniper rifle. Uh, or you can uh, flash grenade him and rush him, uh, like in the Leon storyline. Um, let me know if you know any other tricks. Uh, this is just pretty much me running around to his locations, trying to kill him. He has a ton of health, unfortunately. Sniper rifle doesn't do much, uh, it seems. But uh, yeah, I'm using the TMP now, chasing him, chasing him down. Um, there's another medallion there in the cell, but we'll go back to it, don't worry, I'll show you. And this guy decides to punch me when literally the, the worst timing ever. Um, yeah, you have to get the item from the, the red robe, by the way, the red robe guy. That's why we're chasing him around. So, yeah, he goes there, and shoot him through the wall, doesn't really do anything to him. Um, but, uh, yeah. Grenades are helpful against him, especially the the, the flashman. Uh, anyway, watch out, these plagas might kill you. 
That's insanely. <laughs> it's insanely. Uh, it's insanely um, risky to do that. Anyway, after you hit him enough times, he will drop the moon thing from the original game. Yep, I'm so glad they brought that back. It's really cool because I thought they had removed it. Anyway, we're going to go up this ladder and get the second medallion or whatever your medallions are at right now. I'm getting the medallion right now. Don't worry, I'll show you where they all are. But if you grabbed the little leaflet, it will show you the location of them. But I will show you a more in-depth location. So now I'm, I'm making a flash grenade. So if you messed up like I did and made all of them plague us, there should be about like five enemies. So we're going to create a flash grenade and we're going to throw it down And when they are all in range of the flash grenade. And they are all dead. So now all you have to worry about is getting the items. If you care about these items, okay? There are There is a flash grenade by the stairs. And anyway, so we're going to get all the medallions now. And before we do that, we're going to grab this butterfly lamp treasure. And we're going to shoot that medallion. There we go. Once again, this is probably going to be way different than it is for me, than it is for you. So uh, it's going to be a lot different. I, I'm sorry there isn't really a correct way of doing this. Just kind of like make sure that you kill him because he has the item. It's an annoying area. This really is an annoying area. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to continue onwards here. I'm grabbing all the items. Uh, if It's easy to get lost here. But just look at your map every now and then. Just keep a mental note of where you are. It's very helpful to uh, always look at your map. Anyway. We go up there we can go back up this is where we need to be so always look up to the grappling areas and uh yeah so there is a medallion right there that you can get through here this is the starting area where we were at the beginning so if you can't get it just shoot it with a sniper rifle trust me i wasted so much sniper in this game and it gave me so much i never had to craft it once so, and I'm playing on a controller, and I normally play on a controller. Anyway, we're getting all the medallions now. This is a major time waste, so if you don't want to get it, that's up to you. But we kind of depend on this exclusive upgrade ticket, so just take your time. It shouldn't take you longer than 5 to 10 minutes at the most. If it takes you 10 minutes or more, you might want to restart, do the armor part again. Anyway, just remember that you can use your grappler so you don't get lost. Literally, this entire area becomes easier just if you look, if you learn how to use the, gra the grappler. Before we leave, we're going to grab the flash grenade. You're going to be missing some items here. It's perfectly fine. Trust me, you don't have to grab everything. You're just wasting a ton of time just grabbing everything. You can just skip some boxes. Trust me. Anyway, look up to the broken balconies because you can grapple to them and that's it. We're... We're missing some stuff, but it's okay. We're inserting the moon stone there. The get the sapphire. treasure here. It should be a sapphire. It's pretty cool. And that's it. We're going to continue onwards. So we've reached the castle battlements after Leon has that's been through it. So we're literally retracing our steps. I think I missed some boxes there. I'm not too sure, but I grabbed the yellow herb, okay? Grab the yellow herb. And uh, we're turning around and jumping down the stairs, okay? So this is where you get the elegant crown. This is the elegant crown area. So, yeah. Anyway, we're going to sneak around and stab this one in the back. So we don't have to waste time here for an hour. Um, and then we're going to continue. All right. So we're going to go down the ladder. And this is how we get the, the elegant crown. So you can sneak around and knife these enemies if you so desire. Or you can just use your shotgun and destroy them. Whatever works for you. You're wasting time though if you get spotted. But it's okay. It's only a couple seconds. Just don't make it a habit. Anyway, there's a chest here or whatever, little little container. Get the ruby. Yes, rubies do matter, even though they're not the most expensive things. Anyway, don't get lost, but yeah. Um, so let's keep going here. There's only an hour and a couple minutes left. <laughs> so I'm recording this voiceover after. I did this, so I just got done playing the game, getting the S+. 
uh, for a few hours today. I did I did most of it today. So yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go here, get the items, enable the lever, and we are going to solve this riddle, which is not that difficult to be honest. It's kind of trippy a little bit, but uh, you'll get it. You'll get it. It doesn't matter if you mess up. It's okay. It's okay. It's perfectly fine. One or two minutes is not gonna make a huge difference. Um, Keep in mind, this gameplay that you're seeing is me playing separate ways for the second time. It was my second time only. I'm sure by the time you're watching this, I am an expert at this because I've been playing this for a very long time and I plan on playing it even more. So hopefully you enjoy it. Anyway, we go downstairs and we grab this big coffin. Not coffin, sorry, chest. <laughs> and uh, the, the get, get, get the get the treasure there. And then we go up. Okay, so go down first, then go up. Okay, got it? Got it, perfect. And then we're gonna use our grapple gun there. Bunch of wasted time there for me. Don't worry, it's okay, all right? All right. Before we go down the ladder, we're gonna get this barrel here. It's not incredibly important, but sometimes there is something useful like a boot knife or something. So it's pretty good for me, at least. It was worth the 20 seconds that I wasted there. Anyway, let's keep on going. There's another treasure here. Once again, if you have the expand, if you have the the, the treasure map, uh, be you'll the be able to get that and see it. Anyway, the combination for this is the beetle with the square horns, the the, the skull of that thing, and then the reptile, the lizard. Okay, so square beetle horns. Re uh, skull and the lizard and that's it that is the chapter end we are so close to the end we're so close guys we are so close we're gonna do it it's gonna happen and we're gonna make it we're saving here we're saving i'm saving in separate slots okay i'm saving in separate slots just in case you know if i don't make it i can always go back to an older save and try to do it faster anyway we're gonna examine the footprint here you have to do this so this is chapter five and let's keep going okay so before we go after louise we're gonna go up the ladder here there will be another yet another treasure not too sure why there's so many treasures here that leon missed or the villagers or whatever the zealots kind of just place these and it's the pearl bangle. There is no reward for getting all the treasures. It's just for money, okay? All right. Jump down. Um, and yeah, so you can get that stuff if you so desire. I am not getting it. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's whatever. We're going to follow the footprints here. And this is how you solve the puzzle to get the crown. Don't follow the footprints. Go left. Okay, go left, follow this light, and go down, and we're gonna get the shotgun out. Get the shotgun out, or sneak, okay? So sometimes sprinting and then crouching again makes you undetected, but yeah, anyway. We're gonna use our boot knife here, or kitchen knife, and prioritize those and knife this guy. And then we're gonna activate the lever, and I'm gonna equip my shotgun here. The shotgun is very useful for getting out of sticky situations. I always aim it at the torso, because it splits them in half. That gets rid of the plaga, if they do have a plaga. Anyway, we're gonna get rid of all these enemies here. Um, and continue onwards. There is another treasure, a treasure here, and that is the elegant crown. Yeah, there were a lot of treasures in this castle battlements area. I'm not too sure why, but yeah, that's it. Know. That's how you get it. That's the only thing that we care about from this area. That gives you 100,000 pesetas there. Anyway, we're about to reach the sewers area here the Novistador area, so we're gonna jump down and then we're gonna keep going. Before we continue to the red letters, we're gonna go back up the stairs and at the very top there will be a velvet blue treasure, which is not important, but it's pretty good to have. This is the point where you can have your upgrade ticket if you've been lucky with the spinels or if you've been doing all of the requests which i have uh but uh yeah if you don't have it yet don't don't be alarmed you will if you continue doing what i'm doing 
this is the sewers area. I don't know why you want to call it. I think it's really cool though that there's so much to this castle that we never explored. And it still, still feels fresh. Anyway, we're going to leave a like here and subscribe if you haven't already. Nibble all notifications to know when I go live and when I do upload. Before we go forward though, we're going to use our sniper rifle here in its final moments. And we're going to shoot this guy in the head. He will become a plaga for me. It might be different for you. Uh, but yeah, we're going to take these guys out. Uh, you can run past these guys, but they will follow you for a long time. So it's better to just, you know, kill them. They do drop stuff anyway. Unfortunately, I was punished here for missing a couple of times. And he did turn into a plaga guy either. Even I'm eating my red and green and yellow. Using the shotgun to get rid of the plaga. And the TMP to finish it off. There we go. And there's another plaga right there. Try not to waste the TMP ammo too much. Because we're about to fight Pesanta. Okay, the U3 it. So save your TMP ammo as much as you can. Okay, it's incredibly important that you have enough TMP ammo for this boss fight. And no, do not use the rocket launcher. You can but you're putting yourself at risk if you're doing this with no bonuses no extras but uh if you want to play this safe do it with the chicken hat get hardcore s plus if you can and use the chicago sweeper to get an a rank on professional that's the easy we that's the easy peasy way i'm probably gonna do another guide with the chicago sweeper so stay tuned uh, i'm sure i'm gonna be doing a lot of that anyway if you use your pistol or shotgun while the Novistador is hovering over the water, he will die immediately. So keep that in mind. Anyway. Yep, looking around. <laughs> uh, we're going to do the crown here. So crown, we're going to do all different colors, okay? We're doing different colors instead of red barrel, red barrel, yellow, yellow. Because it's more efficient and better. That way you have more high value gems for other things. Anyway. All different colors. Red. Green, blue, purple, and yellow. Anyway, we're going to purchase the exclusive upgrade ticket, which allows me to have the exclusive for a weapon without having to fully upgrade it. And that is the TMP in this case. You can apply this to any weapon that you want, but the TMP for me is the weapon of choice. It makes everything a lot better. Everything else is kind of meh, but it's up to you. The sniper rifle is super slow. doesn't really matter. Or, you know, you can try putting it on the automatic Stingray rifle if you want. I prefer this. I prefer the TMP because the ammo for the TMP is a lot more uh, common and easier to craft than any other weapon. That, it, you know, not counting the pistol and shotgun. Anyway. Yeah. So, we are going to sell the sniper rifle and we are going to sell the treasures that we can sell that we have completed okay we have completed them including the the crown and this will give us enough money to buy the attache case expansion and we can also sell the sniper rifle here the bolt action sniper rifle right there the srm1983 and we can purchase the Stingray. The Stingray is a semi-automatic sniper rifle, which is amazing. You need it. You need it. You absolutely need it. It's great. It, you're going to need it because Ada, Ada's segment is very fast-paced. Don't worry about the scope. We'll get a scope later for free. Don't worry. We'll get the biosensor scope in a second. But uh, also, you can purchase the Illuminados pendant if you so desire. That's up to you. I'm actually upgrading the crossbow. This is easy peasy. No bonus weapons. Okay, no cheats or anything like that. I'm playing this on the PlayStation. And we're going to upgrade the crossbow. The crossbow is incredibly powerful. It deals 17 damage. Okay. We're upgrading the crossbow. And don't worry. We're going to have a rocket launcher for the final boss. Don't worry. I'm making sure that you have enough for the rocket launcher at the end. Trust me. Okay. Just got to trust me. Anyway, we are at 1 hour and 20 minutes, okay? This is sort of cutting it a bit too close. If you're at 120, you're fine. If you're here at 120, you're fine. Just know you have to you have to be, beat the castle in under an hour and 50, okay? Ideally an hour and 50. 
it's still possible to do it in 30 minutes the last section if you're a speedy person okay just know that ideally if you don't want to have to rush do it in under an hour and 50 or two hours okay anyway we're gonna continue onwards here we have a new sniper rifle so we're gonna equip it on a shortcut don't forget to equip your shortcuts and remember them remember your shortcuts okay one two three four five six seven eight nine or you know up up left left whatever anyway we're gonna kill these enemies we're gonna kill these enemies if you do have some spinels consider buying the shield uh charm the the ada charm that is uh, essential for this run okay so if you don't have enough we're gonna we're gonna do some requests later anyway we're gonna kill all the enemies there and then we're gonna interact with this valve so this little case here will give us the um infrared scope the biosensor scope which is incredibly useful by the way you, you can send the other scope to the storage and then sell it later okay all right or sell it before you get to this part it's whatever okay so we activated that lever that valve handle before we open that chest we're gonna shoot this guy and the novice door if you want to shoot the novice door with the sniper rifle that's okay just make sure he dies get the mirror with rubies and whatever pearls make sure the novice door died and don't you can skip all these guys you don't have to fight them okay you don't have to fight them but what you do have to do is open this door open the door make sure you open it you can also throw a flash you can also throw a grenade there if you want from the other side if you want to skip all of that but it's whatever honestly all right so this is a lot of wasting of time just take out these enemies the treasures we are going to go back to where the merchant's pool was right here and we're gonna go splish splash before we go into the other area we are gonna go back into this dark area right here it's not extremely necessary but there is something that we want here so if you want more money and stuff to like that we are gonna go this way this guy is kind of annoying he's just dodging me look at him he's not even trying to dodge me he's dodging me and we're gonna pick this up there's also a snake here that you can sell or eat it's up to you i actually don't remember what i did with it but yeah handgun ammo right there on the nest i wonder what those things are made of <laughs> they're saliva <laughs> anyway is that what bees do or wasps i don't know I think that Novista or is meant to be like some kind of bee or bug or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't like it. Anyway, we're going to shoot that Novista door, and then before you get the chest, we're going to shoot this man to death. Novista door annoying, so we're just going to stab him. They, they, die in one, they die in one stab, right, by the way. Anyway, Alexandrite, very important. Oh my god, that was close. The Alexandrite, the purple gem. Very nice, very good very important for later um but even if you skip this you're gonna have enough you're gonna have enough because you can still sell your weapons you don't need every weapon at the end and also i will be selling the crossbow at the very end to afford these the rocket launcher so don't you worry there is a novice server around here so watch out they like to hide around these areas if you want to um, make sure you can just look through your cqbr scope uh sorry the infrared scope and it's actually a really good tip that i can give you to uh, use the infrared scope to see the novice Dolores, because that's probably how they the developers intended you to use it uh, anyway i'm gonna eat that snake uh, shotgun's best here because apparently their hitbox becomes just their eyes when they're invisible 
apparently they're not just invisible they are literally intangible they are literally invisible they're not camouflaged they're literally transparent anyway we're gonna take these guys up The treasure that we shot earlier or shoot it it's a yellow diamond so very expensive don't get hit here it's okay if you get hit but try not to i get hit all the time and i still got s plus um but uh yeah so we're going to get here and get the request Caught myself a big one. get the request uh fish there's a fish right there get the fish that is the lord of the whatever waterway so get the fish okay get the big fish don't eat the fish do not eat the fish you have to sell the fish to the merchant to complete the request to get the spinners otherwise you will fail the requests and you will not get the achievement for the primal knife so just just don't eat the fish just kill it it's right there go back if you missed it and yeah it's important to get it if you care about the knife or, you know, spinels. Um, this area is super annoying. If you have flash grenade, I don't blame you for using it. But honestly, shotgun or TMP is great here. Um, anyway. We're gonna grab the Thanks ammo the from there. And we are almost done. So, we are about to reach the double guard door room. This room has a first aid spray. Okay, on the right most side. Don't miss it. This room is pretty much Leon's guard, double guard or room. <sighs> so, <laughs> make sure you have at least two flash grenades. One heavy grenade, two flash grenades. If you don't have a heavy grenade, you can use your crossbow. Anyway, I'm crouched here. So, we can use the heavy grenade here to get them both. Or you can try to hit them, hit the parasites if you so desire. But I actually recommend you just throw the grenade here, like right off the bat. Just throw it, save yourself the trouble. There we go. Don't eat the fish. And then after they're stunned, shoot the parasite on both, okay? Don't throw the flash grenade until both have their parasites exposed. Make sure you know how to parry or, you know, know how to shoot. So if you parry him, he turns around. It's really good. Okay, after both parasites have been hit with your sniper rifle, or, or whatever, throw a flash grenade. There we go. That should kill one of them, at least, or both of them if you've dealt enough damage. This is one of the easiest ways to deal with the double guard door, by the way. Heavy grenade, flash grenade, sniper rifle, sniper rifle. Done. Equip the sniper rifle again. The crossbow is super slow, by the way. And that's it. We're gonna throw another flash grenade just to make sure, but if you sh if you just shoot it with your TMP, you should be able to do it. Watch out. Don't get too distracted. Anyway, I shot the parasite with my TMP, and I got it. Don't get close to the guard door when he's dying, because he will hit you and will kill you. Because he swings his claws around. Anyway, finish everybody else off. Get this first spray, first aid spray. Grab everything in this room, like, don't forget anything, because you are about to fight a monster. You need a lot of TMP ammo. If you've been following my upgrades with the TMP, the exclusive TMP, you will have an easier time here against Pesanta, U3, IT, whatever you want to call it, okay? It, okay, we're gonna fight IT. We're gonna fight IT very soon, so be prepared with your... TMP ammo or whatever weapon you decided to put your upgrade ticket. I 100% recommend doing the TMP. And you're about to see how much faster the TMP is than anything else. You again?
there's only like a, an hour left. So we're gonna grab everything. And then we are going to save. We're gonna save right before it. Because it... It is kind of an annoying boss. Also, we have enough saves for now. Okay? We have enough... We're gonna save on another slot here. Just to make sure... We're gonna save on another slot. Just to make sure you can do it. Okay? We're gonna sell the fish. Sell everything that you can. Uh, if you have any empty slots on any other stuff, consider uh, waiting until you have enough gems or just sell them. It's up to you. Um, so right now, there really isn't anything that... Um, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> right now, there really isn't anything that I... That I that it's strictly necessary from now on. You can just fully upgrade whatever you want because we have the exclusive TMP. Um, don't waste your money on the on the rocket launcher, okay? Don't waste your money on the rocket We're going to use the rocket launcher against the final boss. We're going to fully upgrade or, uh, you know, upgrade, upgrade the reload speed on the crossbow and bring it up to 19 firepower if you can. Uh, crossbow is so effective against the U3. So, yeah, let's do it. As soon as we start, we equip the crossbow and shoot him directly, okay? Shoot him directly on the body. Don't let him move. Do not let him move. Always be quick enough to shoot back to back to back. Don't miss. Don't miss with your fully upgraded, well, almost fully upgraded crossbow, okay? I had five or six bolts, and then immediately after you fully ran out of arrows, literally just unload your TMP on him. Don't let him breathe. You should have at least 40 to 50 ammo capacity on this thing. You should have the exclusive upgrade ticket. Look at it. Look at it. It's just, it's, it, he can't move. If you run out of, watch out, you, you had to dodge. If you run out of bullets, just throw a grenade. Don't let him get you at all. Don't let him hit you at all. Don't let him hit you at all. TMP is amazing. Uh, yeah, I got hit there, but it's okay. Shotgun to the face. Just shotgun, shotgun, shotgun until he's dead. And then he's when he does that, you have to interact with him and he will be dead. Don't grab his item yet. Make sure you grab everything here because there's a tier, there's a phase two to his boss fight. So we're gonna grab every barrel here. Make sure everything is reloaded, okay? Make sure all of your guns are reloaded. And then we're gonna go downstairs and fight the remains of the U3. It. Alright, let's grab the housekeeper's treasure. And then as soon as he starts doing that, we're gonna go around in a circle counterclockwise. And we're gonna grab stuff, okay? This form of him is very annoying so if he does the big flashbang we're gonna equip our fully automatic tmp and we're gonna shoot him directly on the orange part okay that's his weak spot you might take some damage it's okay but move out of the way if he starts moving forwards all right okay we're gonna grab everything if he does that once again just i'm holding forward so he doesn't hit me with the explosions and then you can show him shotgun him or tmp or whatever you have at your disposal make sure that you can uh, avoid those mines that he launches uh you'll get used to it you, you you'll get you'll get used to it it's um it's an annoying thing just try to avoid being staggered because it's a massive waste of time and uh yeah so shooting him in the orange spot as you can see here is like 10 seconds anyway that should stagger him and that's phase two of the phase two okay so when you're able to knife him that enables phase two phase two has no vista doors which is annoying okay so now we have to survive grab everything around here hopefully you get submachine gun ammo because it's really good and uh yeah so i'm using my sub my fully upgraded submachine gun here the damage just so much damage so there's no Vistadores here, so I'm running around. I don't know why it didn't give me the prompt there, I guess. Uh, if he starts flying like that, just use a flash grenade. Craft one, use flash grenade. This will uh, stun all of the Vistadores also. So flash grenade him, otherwise he will land on your head, okay? And he will deal a ton of damage. So don't let him do that. You're about to see me fail here. That's how I learned to just create a flash grenade here. 
You have to do it fast, otherwise he does that. See? It's okay. It's whatever. Anyway. We're gonna kill this Novistador. Try not to get hit, but it's okay. It's okay. But just know that your resources are limited down here. Uh, thankfully, we did save before this. So we're gonna continue onwards. Grab the green herb right there. And we're just gonna rinse and repeat. Once you've dealt enough damage with whatever weapons you have, he will be staggered once again and you'll be able to interact with him with your knife and your grappler and uh, this will kill him. Congratulations. So we're gonna continue going here. I'm sorry. I'm not going to make it. I'll send you my files. They should help. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. We've reached pretty much past the halfway point. We're gonna get our RS Plus today. You can kill those Novistadores before they wake up. I don't actually know if it matters or not, but it's just fun to just shoot them and kill them. Anyway, what we have to do is just listen to Luis's monologue and climb up. It's very sad. Luis is such a good character in this. I didn't think he would be even better with this DLC and he, lo and behold, he actually managed to become even better. Grab everything. And now, we go up the ladder. climb up here and get the items this is kind of a tricky part by the way this area so make sure you have shotgun shells available to you I'm gonna skip cutscenes otherwise it's gonna take double the amount of time um, don't use the grappler here just jump down because we have to go up the ladder there but before we do that we're gonna take this guy out or this girl out Shogun is quick and easy if you land all of the pellets on it. And we're gonna we're gonna go. We're gonna go, we're gonna do it. Let's get everything. And uh, go up the ladder. This is gonna be a timed event, okay? So make sure you grab everything before you go and take care of this guy first. He might be a plaga. Every now and then he is a plaga. Most most of the time he's a plaga. For me he's been he's been a plaga many times so yeah shotgun him to a face make sure he's dead otherwise he's gonna bother you while you're running okay so we're gonna activate the crank here or whatever this is the valve then we're gonna let go actually you can kill that guy if you want but it's not necessary we're gonna let go equip your shotgun make sure it's reloaded we're, gonna, we're not gonna stop, okay? Don't stop, because it's timed. We're gonna run, run, run. Run, run, run. Use the grappler here, because that'll kick the guy out of the way. Run, 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 and you just about made it. If you didn't make it, I'm sorry, but I'm sure someone out there won't make it. It's okay. All right, I showed you my time there if you want. We're gonna pick up the bug buster quest here. It's kind of an annoying one, but I'll show you all three locations. It's kind of like a time sink. I don't recommend you do this uh, if you're trying to go for a quick time. But yeah, so we're going to save here. It's not strictly necessary if you save here or not. But if you find yourself at this point and you only have seven saves, might as well go in and save. We're on the semi-final few chapters. So. Okay, I'm going to sell that. And with the rest of the money, you can do whatever you want. Upgrade whatever you want. If you want to upgrade your shotgun, go ahead. I actually recommend you upgrade the shotgun. Or you can just repair your knife. Repair Your knife needs to be full all the time. The knife is incredibly easy. The knife is incredibly important, sorry. And you always have to have your knife 
So I chose the attaché case black here that makes uh, that allows me to get more resources L for flash grenades. So I actually recommend you do this. And if you want, you can get the treasure map or get the Ada. Okay, get the Ada charm. You need it. You need it. You need the Ada charm. You need the Ada charm. Whatever you do with your other spinels, I don't care. Get whatever case you want. I recommend the black attaché case for for resources L, so you can craft that good stuff, flash grenades, which you are going to be needing. By the way, I'm going to be using a lot of flash grenades, so I recommend you do the resources L one, and don't forget to equip it. Okay, equip. You have to equip this stuff. Okay, equip the charm, equip the attaché case that you that you purchased. And we are going to get going here. So. We are going to knife this guy. And we are going to get going here. Grab everything in this room. So this is your chance at um, learning how to do the shield thing. So learn how to use your grappler to get the shield because you're going to be needing it, okay? okay we're going to break that stuff. We're going to get the stuff in it. And uh, yeah, you can see me here kind of looking around because I was trying to figure out where the novice door is. But uh, yeah, don't worry. I'll show you where they are, okay? Don't worry. We're going to keep going here. You have to be very fast. You have to be very quick because this next section might take you a few times. We're gonna keep going here. By the way, the saves, you can just put your saves wherever you want. It's just suggestions, but uh, I think you should just follow mine. And I think um, better to play it safe. We're gonna kill these enemies. Some of them are plagas. You can use the flash grenade if you want here. If you have the attaché case black, go ahead and use a flash grenade here. If you want to save that extra two minutes or so, but uh, I, it doesn't really matter. to jump down here and we are um, I'm just reading the request don't worry it, once again I had to learn okay it's okay anyway we're gonna do this enable that yellow lever right interact with the yellow lever and there's the first novice to in there don't miss like I did I use my sniper rifle but you can use any weapon the sniper rifle helps you see where the novice to are so it's much easier okay don't worry about the ammo you'll get enough trust me as long as you don't spam the sniper rifle. All right, so that's the first Novi Stador. Grab the item. Wait for the big thing to come down. Play it safe, play it slowly, and then as soon as it goes up, just keep pushing forward. All right, all right. So the next Novi Stador is not even here, so let's just keep going. So there's a bunch of uh, treasures that you can get here, so I'm gonna get them, just so I know that I have enough to get the upgrades and stuff that I need. So don't waste time, just follow the path. And basically we're retracing our steps uh, to where those Plaga guys were. So because this now is open and there's a treasure there, there's a depraved idol right there. Not necessary, but it helps a ton, okay? So if you wanna do a funny thing, you can just push this guy under the, the press, the hydraulic press. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's, and he will die. All right, let's go. So at this point, you have to time it correctly because there's a there's an emerald there. But uh, yeah, so this guy's kind of annoying. Make sure he's either stunned or dead, okay? So if you shoot him a couple times, you will be stunned. Or if you just kill him while standing here in the safe spot, uh, you will be able to be okay. This 
make sure that he's dead before you cross, because he will hit you and you will die. Anyway, that was pretty cool. Pretty cool move right there. We only have a couple minutes, not a couple minutes, like half an hour left. So hang in there. Trust me, it might seem like there's a lot left, but there it really isn't. Uh, we're going to keep going here. All right, let's go. So second novice door is actually right there. And this area, I suggest you take the archer out first. Everyone else can live if you run past. The third novice door is at the very top. You can shoot it once you're at the very top. So I, if you're confident enough that you can dodge all these people without problems, I actually suggest you just run past them and then turn around when once you reach the top, before right before the ladder, look at the cliff at the top left. That's where the last bug will be to complete the quest. If you care about the quest, okay? All right. If you care. If you don't care, it doesn't matter. All right. I actually suggest you just run past everyone here. It doesn't matter if you'd miss any pickups or anything. I was just looking for the Novisador, but you should just run past. So, once again, once you've reached the very top, watch out, there might be a type 3 or type 2 Plaga, sorry. It might eat your head, so be very, very careful. So once you've reached the very top, by the ladder, right before the ladder, look up right there. That's the last bug, and that will give you the bug killer. Quest. Reward. Okay, so now I am going to use my grappler. That looked cool, didn't it? That looked really cool. Anyway, um, we're going to break this barrel and then we're going to head down the elevator. Let's do this. This elevator right here. I have so many memories with this elevator. Anyway, we're almost at the very end of this chapter, so watch out. There might be some enemies here. I'm using the TMP. Because TMP has decreased in value at this point, because the TMP was pretty much just useful to get you out of those annoying situations with the Pisanta and you know the chainsaw people. We're about to we're about to embark on an area that doesn't fully request require a fully upgraded TMP, but it is still a good sidearm. So we're gonna get the treasure here. Before we run in, you wanna you wanna stun this person. Watch out, this is an annoying one. Don't you don't want to die and have to go back, eh? Yeah, Alright. Yeah, so consider running past or stunning and then running past. Yeah, took damage very stupidly. But it's okay. It's perfectly fine. Don't you worry. It's okay. You can get it. You can get the stuff. You can get it. Anyway, we're gonna keep going here. And... Um... We're gonna get this stuff, and that's gonna be it. decided to save on a different slot here i'm saving on a different slot here because i realized you know we're almost at the end might as well just save we have a lot of saves left so this is where we are gonna start running okay do not waste time do not kill these enemies run we have 30 minutes we have 30 minutes we literally have 30 minutes to finish this entire DLC okay and don't worry I will get you there safely and in time so we're gonna go here get this stuff it's not necessary to get this stuff because you, the game just gives you so much stuff later but it's you know it's nice to have but uh, yeah we're gonna start running so I'm gonna ask you to put your big gamer big gamer pants on here okay right before the the regenerators also, didn't Ada want the amber? And there's like a giant meteorite right there. Anyway. By the way, no one pointed out that literally those things came from space. And, but anyway, I guess the community doesn't care about that. They just care about the characters, <laughs> I guess. Uh, we're gonna grab the crystal ore from the chest. 
And uh, yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. It doesn't. They, it doesn't exactly mean they came from space, but you know, it kind of is hinting at that. They kind of do look like aliens. I mean, the the, the one the xenomorph, the the U three Larry looks like a xenomorph. Uh, anyway, a xenomorph, whatever. Okay, so you might want to stun these guys by shooting them or throw in a flash grenade, because otherwise they won't let you on the elevator. So all you have to do is get get this treasure here. Don't get don't get lost and disoriented like I did, because you're gonna pay for it anyway. You you gotta wait for the elevator. So just kill these guys. They're super annoying. So shotgun shells. Making some shotgun shells, but I'm using the TMP to take these guys out. This guy is hella annoying. You can throw a grenade or two here. Just just take these people out. Don't be like me. Don't try to run past them because you're gonna get stuck and you're gonna take damage. So just kill them before the elevator reaches. TMP is very helpful here. I don't know why the elevator didn't work, even though there was nobody on it. But yeah, okay. As you can see, TMP is amazing. So hopefully that's not a plaga. And we're gonna continue going. All right, let's call the elevator. Should be just up ahead. Okay. You can snipe some of these people, but I don't recommend it. You're just wasting ammo. We're going to be skipping a treasure here. So this is what I mean when I meant your big gamer moment, okay? So your big gamer moment here is going to be running past everyone. I did skip some boxes there, it doesn't matter. It's all about getting it done, okay? We're skipping some stuff here. It's okay. It's okay, trust me. So, we're gonna go around this crane. Our objective is to get on top of that blue, those two blue crates, okay? So what we're doing is we're running around, we're kiting these enemies around. Don't let them hit you though. And we're gonna go from the back, up the ramp, and I have my shotgun in my hand, okay? I'm gonna shoot this guy. And then I'm going to be. Uh, you can shoot this guy in in the in the shooter in his weapon. <laughs> shoot shoot him in the weapon and then just run past. Or you can kill him if you want, but no, don't. <laughs> just don't. It's a waste of time and ammo. Don't not worth it. He drops an emerald or something. It's not even worth it. Anyway, now we're in the facility. This is the final section of the game, so if you're here in under 2 hours and 30, congratulations, you will make it. You have 30 minutes, though, okay, and it might get annoying. Alright, we're just gonna rush. Run, run, run. Don't, don't stop. You can stop at the merchant for like a minute, but don't take too long. If you, if you, have, if you need time to think, just pause the game and think. Alright, and yes, the timer does stop when you pause. We're not going to be doing any more requests. I'm not going to be doing any more requests, but you can if you want. Uh, I already have the primal knife. I already have every unlock in the game, so I don't need to do anything. All right, we're going to grab the sniper rifle ammo here. And this is another point where we're just going to be rushing, okay? Trust me, you're skipping stuff. I know it hurts. I know a lot of people play to just collect and kill everything, but uh, when you're doing an achievement like this, you are going to... Um, you, you're you're not gonna you're you're gonna make an effort to to play differently, all right? Okay. I have my shotgun in my hand. There's an item here if you want gunpowder. I never run out of gunpowder because I always have a ton. Break these boxes, and this is where the big gamer moment happens. Another big gamer moment. Uh, so <laughs> we're gonna have an, a regenerator. So stick to the left. Stick to the left. So he starts running towards you from the left side. Okay. Once you see his most most of his, his body is on the left side, take a right and just keep running. Just just kite him to the left so you can run to the right. We're running, we're not stopping, because we literally have 30 minutes. We have like 25 minutes at this point, or even less. So we're running as fast as we can. Follow this light, okay? I know I'm skipping a lot of stuff, okay? I know. It's not that I don't know about it. I literally am just going because I need the time. You don't need to collect everything in, on this run. And trust me, you will have enough for the launcher. 
Anyway, we're gonna go into the freezer room. We can grab stuff here if you want. But our goal is getting the battery. Let's get the battery. Here, there's gonna be a jump scare type of dude. Um, you can just shotgun him or use the flash grenade against him. Flash grenades work best, but uh, if you don't want to waste a flash grenade, you're gonna risk it and just shoot him with a regular weapon. TMP solves all your problems. Then the little spider should die with a couple handgun ammo. A couple handgun bullets. Anyway, always make sure your shotgun's reloaded. Everything needs to be reloaded, including your crossbow. Right. This is the biggest moment of your life in this entire game. This is probably harder, the hardest part in the entire game, okay? Don't want to scare you or anything, but we're going to open the fridge. And we're going to grab the fish that's in the fridge. Or we can ignore it, it's okay. We don't. I, I didn't have enough room for it. You can send the crossbow to the storage if you're not using it. Or you can just combine and eat that herb. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Okay? It's okay. You're not gonna die. Anyway, this is where Novice Lore is. We're just gonna run past him. Run past him. Run, run, run. Throw a regular grenade at this guy. Get ready to, to parry one of his needles and just run past him. Just run past him. Trust me. Run past him. Run past him. Even if he hits you once, it's not. it doesn't matter. Okay? It doesn't matter. It really does not matter. It does not matter. Just keep running. I know you're skipping a lot of stuff. I know it hurts, but we don't want to deal with that Iron Maiden because that Iron Maiden has like 20 Plagas and it does not drop anything that's that matters to us right now. Our goal right now is to finish the game in under two hours and 30 of playtime, okay? All right, we're almost at the two hour mark here for me. So let's go. Okay, so we've inserted the battery, and now we're running. This is this is this is a really really stressful part. So, all right, we need to head for the comms tower. Don't worry. I know you feel like some of these uh, saves uh, are, were a bit risky. Maybe, like I said, these saves can be you know saves can be just whatever you want. Um, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be the same ones as me, but I, su I do suggest you do the ones that I did. It, I was just the most comfortable doing these saves, you know, playing it safe, no pun intended. But yeah, so the gondola. The gondola does have a pattern, and your goal here is to not get hit once, but you might, you might, you might get hit here. So I'm using my sniper rifle, and I'm playing on a controller, so it's a bit difficult. So we're going to be shooting the shooters first. Watch out, there will be RPG guys, so your character will say something along the lines of my must take care of the guy, so she will say something. <laughs> uh, you can use your pistol too, because they do die with one hit, so if you don't want to waste your rifle ammo, you can just use the pistol if you want, or you can just use your sniper rifle, it really doesn't matter. There we go, once you reach this point, the rocket launcher guy will spawn to the left, so keep an eye out for that. Don't let him hit you because he will die and go back all the way back. All right, pistoling this last dude and we're good. So, we're grabbing everything, including the thing that's in the dumpster here. <laughs> There's a thing here. There's some handgun ammo, which isn't important, but 
we're doing it anyway. We're reaching the semi-final save here. We're gonna save here. Make sure you save here because this area is going to be a pain. I'm selling everything that I can. And I'm gonna leave it up to you to do whatever you want with the rest of your money. But you need 160,000, okay? So do not waste it. Don't waste the 160,000. Don't waste your money on like upgrading your pistol or something. Your pistol is not gonna matter, okay? We're gonna, in, in, in fact, we might even sell it in like five minutes. So, Pleasant anyway. Welcome. I'm selling the red butterfly Stranger. lamp. And uh, I have 137,000. I am going to keep, I am going to keep my money here. Or I'm gonna spend it. I'm actually gonna spend it, okay. I'm spending my money on the ammo capacity of the TMP and some shotgun shells and some Stingray. So I'm gonna leave it, leave it up to you, all of these upgrades. Um, all I can tell you is that I will have enough to buy a rocket launcher later, so. It's up to you if you want to play it safe or not, but I'm saving here. Alright, so we are officially almost done. We're going to craft a flash grenade, okay? This is insanely important, okay? We're going to make sure that we have at least three flash grenades. We're going to inspect this build box right here. And there is uh, a request here on the right, the bug one. If you want, there is a bug way here to the left. I'm not gonna be doing this request, okay? I'm gonna have a separate video for that, okay? We're gonna move to the left, and then we're gonna crush right here. Play it safe, wait for them to be fully done, okay? All right, we're gonna wait, wait, wait until they're fully done, then crouch here, then aim up until you, you can see the button there, and we're gonna go. And this is where things are gonna get a little bit crazy for you, okay? I'm not killing anything. I, I'm not gonna kill anything. I'm just gonna run, 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 run. Down the stairs. Once I reach the bottom of the stairs, I'm gonna shoot that barrel. Dodge that guy, okay? Equip your flash grenade. One of your three flash grenades. And I'm gonna throw it here at the water. You might get grabbed or hit here. It's whatever, Don't doesn't matter. Just flash those people. And then activate this thing. And then we're gonna run. Another flash grenade, okay? So, ideally you want to wait for the shield guy to be on top of the stairs before you pull his shield or just run past him, okay? If the brute is all the way out here, throw your flash grenade and flash the brute. Or just keep running. If the brute sits still in the tent, just keep running. Eventually you're going to want to throw a flash grenade in there though, or, sh or shoot the barrel. Alright, run as fast as you can. Disable the turret here. And then, I'm going to throw another flash grenade and immediately equip your pistol and aim directly at the red barrel that right there you have to do that otherwise you will die okay you have to aim at the red barrel that's right there it's really difficult to see it's really difficult to, i know it's very risky but you can use all the flash grenades in the world here okay but i'm telling you all you need is three you can use any other grenade to just adapt and whatever okay it's up to you i'm just showing you the gist of it it's up to you to adapt Hopefully you understood that, but thankfully we did save before this, so if you die, it might take you a few tries. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's how we do that. That took about a minute. As soon as we land here, we're gonna run towards this hole in the ground here. So there's only like nine minutes left, so I want to thank you by for watching and consider subscribing. We're not done yet, but consider subscribing if you haven't already. I have cat ears guides for leon as well if you didn't know that i have a ton of guides and walkthroughs and all that stuff anyway we're gonna get the sapphire from the ceiling and the code is 116 and then hit e okay the letter e on the on that keypad then we're gonna crouch kick the bucket and then jump down there's nothing there don't don't care by the way don't run towards the monster immediately 180 degree turn and we are going to activate the lever here the whatever this is, the valve handle, and then we're gonna run, 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 and then to the left, to this big white door. He's scripted to do that, by the way, that doesn't mean anything. Anyway, we're gonna jump down, immediately take a left.
here, we the, there are two boxes that we need to break. All right, two boxes right there. Some machine gun ammo, some stuff will probably be different. After that, we're gonna equip our shotgun. Equip your shotgun, okay? Always make sure that your shotgun is equipped and fully charged, fully reloaded, sorry. After the cutscene, we are going to run, turn around, turn around, enable the keypad here, and the password is nine, 906, 906, 906. That is the, that is the password. After that, we're gonna look up to the blue thing and use the grappler. All right, immediately after that, we're almost done here. We're literally almost done, so bear with me, okay? We're gonna equip our shotgun. Make sure your shotgun is equipped, not your knife. And then open this door and shoot this man in the face, okay? Shotgun or whatever weapon you want, I prefer the shotgun. Grab the ornate necklace and the two boxes right there. After that, we are going to do the laser thing. As soon as the cutscene ends, we're gonna run forward and then crouch. Watch out for the lasers, we're gonna crouch, we're gonna crouch. Then wait for it to be right there and we're gonna slowly run in, okay? This one requires you to click a quick time event that is right there. It's very easy, it's just a typical dodge button that we normally use. All right, okay. So the password for that is seven six nice. Six seven six nine. <laughs> nice. And we're gonna do that and interact with this panel. Break the box and then interact with the panel. Okay, so now we only have a few minutes left. We're gonna run back down the laser hallway into the other laser hallway. Yes, there is another laser hallway. All right, so this one requires a bit more re reflexes, I guess. There we go, dodge. Just run, just keep moving, dodge. And then the third one is gonna be a dodge and a grappling hook. There we go. And press the grappling hook right there. Boom. Done. Chapter end. We're not gonna save. We're not gonna save. We took the risk, and we're not gonna save. Alright, we're gonna skip the cutscene. And we're just gonna continue forwards. I'll meet him there. This is the final chapter. So, now is the time to purchase the... Rocket launcher to one shot the boss. So go ahead and craft a flash grenade or whatever it is to make some room. And it doesn't matter at this point what treasures you have because it you're at the end and you're not gonna care about this later. This playthrough anyway, so this is your S plus playthrough anyway, so alrighty. Welcome. What can I interest you in? Okay, so we're gonna sell the blast crossbow and all of the treasures that we have, okay? Don't worry, just need 160,000. You need 160,000. I'm making room in my inventory right now by crafting more flash grenades because you can never have too many. Anyway, we're purchasing the rocket launcher so we can one-shot the final boss. And uh, we're going. Make sure to equip it to a shortcut, okay? With the rest of the money, I chose to fully upgrade my sawed-off W870 shotgun because I'm going to be using this um, to clear out the way while I'm running. You'll see what I mean soon. Having a maxed-out shotgun helps here. If you can, if not, just use your TMP because I trust you have your TMP maxed out at this point, right? Anyway, if you don't believe in the TMP goodness... You can't talk to me. Anyway, we're gonna equip our shotgun. Equip your shotgun, get ready to blast this man. Run, 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 run. Don't waste a sen single second. We're gonna pull the shield, okay? You have to have the Ada badge here, the charm, and just run past the dude. Shoot that barrel and then run past the dude. We're, we're running, okay? Okay, we've got a flash grenade here. Wait for the two dudes to show up and then throw the flash grenade in the back so the plaga dies. If you get grabbed, that's okay. Don't hit anyone because that'll slow you down. This one, that's free game. Watch out, you might get hit here. I got hit. It's whatever. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You, you can keep going. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Ideally, you want to crouch 
underneath that or just shoot the mine okay you have to you have to do something about that after that we are going to equip our heavy grenades you should have at least three if you don't just craft some okay i'm throwing all of them at the brute and then i'm gonna unload my tmp on him making sure that he is dead that you need to do this incredibly fast otherwise you will be overwhelmed and you won't be able to activate the the, the elevator and you're gonna get stuck so i used three heavy grenades head there but you can use any grenade ideally you want to deal a lot of damage to him before he even gets to breathe okay there is another treasure here that does not matter okay uh, i'm gonna grab that herb and these things right here and we are close to the end we're about to be at the end don't worry about this guy he's kind of a douche uh there's a there's a flash grenade there grab it you need flash grenades you need flash grenades you need flash grenades. Alrighty. We're gonna get the scepter here. Not like it matters, but you know, it's nice to have a scepter. This is another rush point, okay? We're gonna make sure this man is dead. Or, you know, stun him. Like I did there. Just make sure that he can't shoot you with his arrow. Alright, so... You have to be fast here, otherwise these guys will do the same exact thing that I told you about. They will clog the elevator, so you have to be super fast. This is the final point. This is your last chance to get the rocket launcher. Get the rocket launcher now if you didn't get it. Okay? Sell any guns. All you need is the shotgun and the stingray. Or the TMP and the stingray. Sniper. Alright? So... We're gonna sell everything, every single treasure, doesn't matter, gems, whatever. We're gonna use this money to fully upgrade our weapons that, you know, like the TMP, <laughs> reload speed, capacity. And sure, why not? The shotgun as well. And this is where we save for the last time. Save here. Alright, so here we are, the final six minutes, or I guess less than that at this point. Alright, we are running like the wind. Before you even start running though, um, we're gonna shoot these Novistadores. Make sure that they are dead, because otherwise they will overwhelm you. You're, you're gonna take damage, it's gonna slow you down, and it's gonna make you sad. Alright, so make sure you are happy before we do this, because it's going to stress you out quite a bit. It didn't stress me out. I enjoy difficult things like these. Anyway, make sure your rocket launcher is equipped. Okay? And then as soon as the cutscene starts, boom. Don't care. Goodbye. See ya. And he's dead. <laughs> um, and that's why we saved right before him. Because we might fail our rocket. Okay. Before we take the grappler, we're going to examine this red warhead thingy on the RPG. And then we're going to kill these dudes there's three dudes that we need to be killed that need to be killed here so the two arrow guys and the rocket launcher guy he needs to be dead he 100 percent needs to be dead because otherwise he is going to stop you and kill you not a big deal right now because we just saved like a minute ago but you know you we don't want to have to repeat this area all right I need to hurry. i'm gonna break everything this is literally the final few s minutes so if you're here at 2 hours and 25, you will probably make it if you don't spend time in your inventory. So 2 hours and 25 is the limit here, I guess. But you need to be you need to be quick, okay? Shotgun to the face, shotgun to the face, go to the left, and then shotgun this man again. Slowing down here might get you hit by the arrows. It's kind of annoying, so you need to get good at parrying. I know it's a pain, but don't even bother shooting them. Just just tackle them with the grappler and then shoot this man in the face. Immediately equip your TMP or whatever it is. TMP is the quickest, by the way, uh, to pull out. And um, we're going to shoot that mine on the right-hand side of the wall. I'm going to grab everything that's in that corner. And remember that skill that I told you about? Yeah, we needed it for this. Okay, we're going to pull, wait for him to be on the stairs, and then we're going to pull him down. TMP in hand, shoot this man's hand, then... Flash grenade in hand, flash grenade this place. Okay, we need to flash grenade. This is the most difficult part of this entire area. The brute is here. Don't hit him. Do not. Do not. And then we're gonna equip our TMP or whatever it is. Just shoot that lock and then we're gonna go right. 
you're, you're almost there. You got this. I believe in you. I know you can do it. Okay? So, uh, don't worry. Here, we're gonna go up the ladder. These these guys will not attack you. Or they'll just kill themselves if, if uh, you know, if they shoot the ground while you're going up the ladder. And that's it. We made it to the Red Warhead RPG here. Uh, we're gonna grab it. The special RPG. And immediately, immediately equip your sniper rifle, okay? Equip your sniper rifle and aim it at the left side. There will be a guy with the RPG. You need to kill him. It's a bit difficult to see, but you need to kill him, okay? So, after that, e equip your TMP and wait for the eye to open. And you can throw a flash grenade here if you don't want to get hit by the Novice Dolores. Or just shoot them, whatever, it doesn't matter. There we go. And before you go in, we're gonna stun that guy in the back, see? If he has- if he- if they have a laser sight, you need to stun them first. Otherwise, they will shoot you once you land, okay? Does that make sense? Alright. So this guy does not care. Flash grenade here. Throwing a flash grenade, then shooting the eye. You need to- you need to have a TMP ammo here, you need to. Okay? Do that, and then run to the elevator and activate it. This is a difficult part. You might need to use a grenade or two. Two flash grenades usually works for me, or a heavy grenade usually scatters them around and deals a lot more damage because it has a higher, you know, range of explosion. After that, past Ashley, we made it. Congratulations. We did it. Press the red button. We're almost there. Not quite. This looks amazing, doesn't it? What a wonderful DLC. What a beautiful DLC. Anyway, most of you have already clicked off. You don't even have to watch this part, but if you want to see my rank soon, I wanna personally congratulate you for getting an S plus rank once again. Thank you so much for watching. This took an insane amount of effort. Once again, I recorded this. I failed a million times, so this took an entire day nonstop of not eating or anything like that. So I hope you enjoyed it at least and it helped you out. The professional S plus rank guide for separate ways, ADES run, two hours and 18. I can do better than that. So stay tuned for more runs. Saves 10, playthrough number one, the perfect mission. This unlocks literally everything. So this is the correct way of doing it. So hardcore run on your first playthrough and then professional as well. The cat set. I have a video with all of these hats on my channel. So check it out. Please leave a like, subscribe, consider hitting the thanks button or join as a member if you want to show your support. It helps me out immensely. Thank you. You're wonderful. And have a beautiful day.